What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Listen, man, I am getting ready to show you something that I vowed I would never do. I'm going to violate the rules of the universe. And I'm going to teach you how to edit video in portrait mode in iMovie. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> Alright, y'all, check it out. So, as in my previous video, if you have not seen the video about converting video to portrait mode, please go watch it and you will see something that I said. And um, I want to apologize in advance. I said, No matter what, under no circumstances, do not ever film in portrait mode. When God designed video, He designed video in horizontal, He designed it in landscape mode. And then Instagram TV came along and violated the rules of the universe and created portrait mode videos permanently. So now I'm gonna teach you how to edit in iMovie for Instagram TV. Yep, you can actually do it and it will work. So this is gonna be a really, really good video. So here's how you do it. You ready? Let's go right to it. So real quick, so that you know this, you cannot do it if you go right into your normal template. So if you click create and go in, you won't be able to do it. What you need to do is go up here to your file button and when you click file, what you're going to see is it's going to give you three options. You have new movie, which you already know. You have trailer, which you already know. But then you have this new button called the new app preview. Now, I'm going to show you what that's for. New app previews are for app developers, believe it or not, is what it's for. And it's designed for them to make apps for your cell phones. Okay? But we're going to take that, what they use, and we're going to repurpose it for Instagram TV. So we're going to click this and go right in. Now I've already taken the liberty of violating all that is holy and I've gotten two videos done in portrait mode. And so we're going to use these videos. Now this is really really simple. So I just want to I'm going to like breeze through this really really fast, get right to it. Watch this. Everything that you know, all of the rules still apply that you know from regular iMovie, all right? Everything's the same. So I'm going to start out here with transitions. When it comes to the transitions, you still have a bunch of transitions. Every transition that you have in your regular style, regular setup is here. If you grab a transition and drop it in and press play, it works. Everything works exactly the same. In addition to that, if we go to backgrounds, if you go to backgrounds, you do have a few uh, backgrounds here. What that does is you notice they'll fit the screen. And I know most of you might you saw the black bars on the side, but you're not working in black bars. Now you're literally working in the portrait mode window. So the black sides don't even matter. So when you were doing something, if you're green screening or whatever, uh, in your video, if that was a green screen, then what you would see is that, you know, whatever my background would be would show up. So we got that. Boom. Uh, let's go to our titles. This is where it gets a little bit unique. When it comes to our titles, we have some things that you have never seen, but we don't have as many titles as we would normally have in our regular uh, setup. So I want you to uh, I want you to see that. So if we bring this in, drop this down on this title, um, let me go up here, type in here, type in Keith, and just leave it at that for now, and boom. So now our title, you notice it pops up at the top. This is a little bit different. There's another one that does the same thing, and it brings it down to the bottom, okay? So your titles would go that way. Now, here's the other thing that you need to know. Not only does the video work uh, like this, as far as the titles come in, but you also still have some of the same rules that you had before. So if we go up here now, you'll notice you can change the background color, uh, you can reset it to white, you can change the text color, you can uh, right, left, or center justify it, you can change your text, you can change your font size. All of those things still work, just like they would in our regular side. In addition, like I said, you have a few more. Now, um, as far as audio, dropping in your audio, Everything works the same. As far as your media, here's where it gets a little weird. So let's say you take a video that you originally filmed in um, uh, landscape mode. You'll see what it does if you drop it in there. The videos will cut off. So you really can't, you really just cannot use any of those videos in this unless you resize them. You would have to, uh, you would have to re 
uh, you would have to resize them or crop them or something like that, like I just did, so that they work. And it's still, it's still going to make them there. So you really would have to crop them a lot differently. You're going to have to work with them to make them uh, fit. And everything that it does, as you can see on screen, is going to be based around that unless you resize this. If you resize it and press play, then it fits. But as you, you see how it fits. It doesn't actually cover the screen because, because it's not designed to do that. It's in board remote. So you gotta you're gonna have to remember that. Um, now some of the like my P, P, uh, PDFs or PNGs rather that you bring in, those fit. All of those things like that, they seem to fit as long as they're squared off. They seem to fit perfectly, and you don't have to worry about those. So if you wanted to do some type of, uh, if we wanted to do our picture in picture, our picture in picture still works. You see what I'm saying? Everything still works the same. Um, and, and it shows up. It just shows up in the portrait mode. So it's really, really just that simple. Everything that you already know and from working with iMovie uh, in landscape mode works in portrait mode. There are some limitations on some of the things that are coming in, but for the most part, everything is the same. So I'm hoping you're enjoying these videos. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, uh, but I'm hoping that you enjoy them. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys got to see it work. So yeah, let me... Watch this. What's going on, y'all? Just trying to make it do what it do, make this happen, because you guys want to see how to get it done in the forbidden zone. This is the forbidden zone. You should. There it is. So you see, it works and it works fine. Um, I will. I will say this. I want you guys. You know, make sure you continue to click like and subscribe. The views have been going up. The the, the, the subscribes have been going up. But I've been noticing, man. Like ninety percent of you are like not subscribed to the channel. It's crazy. It's over ninety percent. I get all these views. We're getting pretty good amount of views. And you, like ninety percent of you have not subscribed. Why not? Click subscribe. Click the like button. Give me some thumbs up. And and let me say this. And if you don't click subscribe, um. I'm going to come to your house at night and I'm, I'm going to steal all of your left socks. So that you only have a right sock. Because um, uh, you're going to walk around with one sock if you don't, if you don't put it like, I will, I'm, I'm going to steal all, like, like all of your socks. Just one. Just one sock from every bed. <laughs> Listen, man. Click like. Please subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And um, if you're enjoying the videos, leave me a comment in the comment section, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, hey, I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.